UFO over China. According to reports, an airport in Inner Mongolia was forced to shut down to prevent passenger jets from crashing into the unidentified flying object. Witnesses reported a bright light shining in the sky before it suddenly vanished. On July 8th, Shaoshan International Airport was shut down because of a UFO. Officials later confirmed the ob object sighted was part of a military test. This latest show in the sky makes for the eighth reported UFO sighting in China since June. A UFO in China's skies forced Shaoshan Airport to stop operations on July 7th. Outbound flights were grounded after the unidentified flying object was detected by a flight crew. The incident has captured the attention of Chinese media, and theories about the UFO's identity are burning up on the Internet as well. They include everything from a hidden U.S. bomber to an elaborate man-made hoax. For now, the UFO continues to be a mystery. A spokesman from China's Civil Aviation Administration confirmed to ABC News that the matter is under investigation. Now the real-life UFO mystery. Just this morning, files containing a massive number of UFO sightings were declassified, and many of them can be easily explained, like drinkers at a bar reporting lights over an airport, or people reporting lasers in the sky near a Tina Turner concert. But the case of a U.S. fighter pilot who was ordered to intercept an unidentified flying object has never been solved. ABC's Nick Watt has more on that from London. Lieutenant Milton Torres was ordered to keep silent about what happened. Now we know the details. May 20th, 1957, he scrambled his Sabre jet from a base in England with orders to arm all weapons and fire at sight. Before he could fire, the erratic, bright blip on his radar simply disappeared. There are some cases, and it's about 5%, uh, that can't be explained. They are genuine unknowns. Any day now, the most contentious file of them all will be opened. I have no explanation for the Rendlesham Forest incident. It was Christmas night, 1980. Guards at two US Air Force bases in Eastern England thought they saw a plane crash in these woods. Two nights later, the lights returned. Some believe this is still an alien destination. Do you see aliens? Yes, we have done so, yes. Do you, do when the file is opened, will we discover Brenda is telling the truth? For Good Morning America, Nick Watt, ABC News, England.